Hello ladies and gentlemen, Sarathani in here, as well as Jenny Jr. I'm on my Federation 10, which is uh, the SAS lead. Because I killed him. Or didn't, or got him killed, I should say. Aww. And then he called me a hacker because I shot him. <laughs> Why, did you shot him too good and, and killed him? No. I got him killed. Okay. Well, anyway, today is a very special day. We had Thirst Contact Day, Day of Honor, Republic Day, and, and um, yeah, and then he died. And because well, he fixed his track, and he I was about to shoot him and kill him, but then R already looped a nice shell over and killed him. And yeah, it's all right. My stupidity brought some good, I guess. All right. I could have I could have gotten epically owned by the Artie if he would have just fired, but he chose not to fire. I don't know why. Hmm. Maybe he was a thud and didn't know how to fire. <sighs> well, anyway, like I said, today's a special day. We have Thirst Contact, Day of Honor Republic Day. This is a celebration day that, um, pretty much, you know, Star Trek Online's been doing every year. Just that everything else. Um, as you can see, Captain's Adult, Tanner Adult are able to do this of that. And, uh, for the Federations, you'll be able to get a little Phoenix, um, pet, which is like a little non combat shuttle thing that dies behind your ship. The, Ro the Romulans, you'll get a little <laughs> Navarro that looks like an octopus. That's cool. I got that. I did pretty good. Got 13k, 1345 damage, 2 kills. That's nah, all the day's work. Not bad. Well, anyway, like I said, uh, in the Klingons, they'll get a, a very special gold battle to yeah. use. So, oh, we're gonna go ahead and start Spence. this mission. Jenner playing World of Tanks as always is. So we're gonna go ahead and heal. Getting that, the that new order story, uh, first contact day. Let's get it over with. Object the Admiral, the Federation roots. Our roots lie in the people uh, conduct contact and cooperation between various species. The first contact in the news and Dawkins opened the door to a new uh, corporation. <coughs> the Enterprise has always been at the forefront of the Federation mission of people exploration. So there will be no Enterprise uh, without a first contact. Oh. It used to be my cursed tank, but now it's a decent tank. Okay. Because I got the next best, the second best gun on the stupid thing. Now it doesn't suck too much anymore. I've actually done some pretty good games in it, but this map, I wish I was on the other side of the map, actually. No, the game knew you was gonna be put in that tank and wanted to make it hard to you because you can start liking it. I do like this tank though. I used to, I didn't like it before, but now that I got the good, uh, the good, the good, better gun. In which I can actually hurt people with, instead of pew 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 and shooting what equates to peas. Like a DD gun? <laughs> See? I'm inviting you on the ad of the uh, captain's zone to take a tour. Take a tour of the Enterprise F. I recommend you accept this author. Go to the. Let's in the call it place, shipyard, located in the soul system of Cyrus, Cyrus, Cyrus Sector Lock. And speak to Captain Solon of the Enterprise at without first contact. Their skill points will get 99, activities will get 86. And then you get to choose the following the Phoenix little shuttle thing, which is like non combat pet that just basically launches the dollars behind your ship. And then. I guess 35 uh, on Arx, probably. So those are the rewards. So we're gonna accept.
All right, open up in progress. Why there, super good speed. Holy moly, look at all these shit sitting out here. Okay, the begin the inspection tour. The ship is here to the much quieter than usual, Captain. The uh, shipyard control has instructed us to join one of the system uh, ticket after you transferred to the Enterprise. I'm a, I'm a bit India, sir. She's an amazing ship. I, 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 I love to take a tour sometime. The Enterprise is special that the Pittsburgh is home. Correct. That's true. Alright, so fly to the Enterprise. I like you got asteroids, the sun. So this is not the air shit yard. Not bad. Ah! Alright, I'm ready to transport it on the rise. Sir, Captain Son indicated uh, he would meet you on the bridge of the Enterprise to take their remain in system until you are ready. The Enterprise that crew is a little to stick with you, but this is not required to this mission's completion. Stick with uh, Captain Sean to advance the mission when you're ready. Understood? And this, like I said, is an Odyssey ship. Which is nice ship as well. Not like the Odyssey. There he is. Talk to Captain. Welcome to Utopia Planitia. Continue. Do you need something? Um, oh. I'm gonna question him. Why didn't it rise out here? Crap! We're here for a weapons refit and some minor repairs. Nothing as bad as the damage we sustained in that last fight. Okay, uh, yeah. Excellent work out there, by the way. Without you, we would have lost DS9. Now that the Undine is stirring up trouble as well, Starfleet wants every ship in top condition and operating with the best weapons we can devise. Cool. So have you ever seen a flying tank? No, never seen a flying tank to Thorn. Bubbles? Have you seen a flying tank before? Do you need something? How are things on the Enterprise? We're a new crew with a new ship. That's led to some issues, but I'm sure we'll be able to overcome them and represent Starfleet in the manner it deserves. I have an excellent senior staff. Some of them served with well, me under Belfast. Go I'm confident we'll be ready to tackle anything. And I love these voiceovers and this, that, everything else. Do you need something? Why are you chosen to be the captain of the Enterprise? You'd have to ask Starfleet Command as to why. I've served in Starfleet for 23 years. Most of that time as a tactical officer. I've taught at the Academy, served as a liaison to the Romulans after the destruction of their homeworld, and commanded the USS Belfast. I've been on three deep space exploration missions and participated in 14 first contact missions. That may be the resume of an Enterprise captain, but you and I both know there are other people in Starfleet with an even more impressive list of accomplishments. As to why I was chosen, a very wise man told me this that in this time, the captain of the Enterprise must be a soldier, as well as a diplomat and an explorer. I'm just grateful for the opportunity. Do you need something? And as you can see, it's green, so that means this is a mission right here. What can you tell me about the first contact day? This is a human holiday, so I may not be the best source of information. First contact day honors the first flight of the Phoenix, Earth's first warp vessel and the first contact between humans and Vulcans on April 5th, 2063. 
without Zephram Cochran and the Phoenix, I don't think Starfleet would be here today. There probably wouldn't be a Federation either. Is there any other reason why I was indicted here? The Enterprise is here for repairs. But the main reason we returned is to test some prototype weapons. I wasn't in favor of the ruse, but in light of the recent rise in Undine activity, Starfleet is turning its efforts to combating them, and we need to keep these tests secret. Yeah, I understand. Oh, uh, can't be too careful. You're right. With agents like Cooper in our midst, well, it's beginning to remind people of the Dominion War. Given that you were with him when the Undine infiltrator made himself known, Admiral Tuvok suggested your experience could be valuable during these trials. I agree. Uh, stick with the con officer to start the test. You may stick with the other enterprise officers to throw the test again to these interactions are not necessary to complete the mission. I understand I'll stick with the con officer when I'm ready to begin. And I like this. You know right there is where you where you have to go, just everything else. You can walk over here and you know, talk to him. Bubbles, when you get back, check your email. Good day. You can see he's got all kinds of stuff that you can. Because you will probably die laughing by what I accidentally did. It's not that hard. You don't even know what I did, Bubbles. Or Jimmy. It was an insult to Bubbles. Oh, um, well, you were talking about a flying tank, so I think you probably used the force and threw a tank at somebody. Yeah, you could say that. And of course, you got this person way over here. You got a leg. As you can tell, he's definitely Vulcan. When Bubbles gets back, he will understand. Uh -huh. All things will be clear for him. That's good. For you, it will for be forever darkness. <laughs> and snow. Unending snow. We. So that's pretty much everybody. All right, I'm gonna go over here and start this test. See the test involves. I have the coordinates for the test run. We are ready to begin when you are. Yeah, I took us out. Mm, I could sit in the captain chair. Starfleet has authorized the testing of these weapons on some disabled Undine bioships. We don't have many of these at our disposal, but this will be the next best thing to a live fire exercise against fully functional targets. You have significant combat experience, and I welcome your insights. Take command for the test. I will observe the tactical data as it comes in. And continue. Alright, let's see what this shit has. And look at these. Of course, uh, let's go on. I like how they kind of grayed out. They basically it's the engineer ship. Cause it's got five engineering slots.
Ладно. Shot kill. Got a score. Right now, we can endorse ten way. Oh, that's a tilt that's like expected. However, we've proven these weapons are more effective against the Undeen than what we had previously. And with the data from this battle, we can work to improve them even more. Admiral Tubot warned us the Undeen would be taking more aggressive action. He was right. I'll take the Enterprise directly to Earth's space dock to alert Starfleet Command. I don't want to risk transmitting this report via subspace. And it's a cat on return to my shield. On the transport. And I'm gonna go back to my Odyssey shield. Alright, he all the uh, Admiral Quinn. Through contact, uh, this is where the ATT will know what the weapon start the weapon program between between this Admiral Two Doc. Oh, excuse me, Tito, sorry about that. Between this Admiral Two Doc warning and the events of the Jaron Steer, the Undines appear to be greatest of threat than they ever were. It's a good thing we started researching on this anti Undine weapons. Weaponry that it looked like we need uh, looked, that it looked like uh, yeah, that it looks like more resources should be devoted to this area soon. And like I said, 99 skill points, 86 expertise. Take one, so I'm gonna kick you. There's contact then, and then I get to try it again. 12 hours. I got something special. Use. Ah, okay. Ooh, I got a lot of these and Dilantium. Well, I really don't play with the Lottie store too much. So I'm just gonna go to the Dilantium. Okay, closing shot, we understand. Okay, in the solar system.
There it is. As you can see, it'll just stall them now. See, like right there. There it is. I'm going to stop. There it is. The Phoenix. No, like, like I said, it's a non-conduct that it just stalls you, stalls you. So then when you go to battle, it will just disappear. Okay, well this is our thought and Edward Dunn and Jr. That was the third contact mission to the Federation side. Thank you for watching. Give me thumbs up down. Please subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching. See ya.